Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to a Dollar Tree Tuesday. It's been a while since I've been able to do a Dollar Tree haul. Um, I found a gift card that had money left on it for my birthday. And then uh, I do save some household money because I do buy household supplies from the Dollar Tree. So let's get the boring stuff out of the way first. Now this is not a huge haul uh, because to be quite honest, my Dollar Tree was about... The one that's closest to my house is not a great Dollar Tree, and I didn't find a whole lot of stuff. Now, I really didn't go through the Christmas items too much. Um, I had a ride to the Dollar Tree, and my ride was kind of in a hurry. I was supposed to be only going in there for some household supplies, but yeah, no. <laughs> Found that gift card. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, so I, like I said, I do buy my household supplies from Dollar Tree. Um, I think, you know, it, the products are just as good as some of my name brand. So I bought some dish soap. And then um, I always get my papers and stuff like that. So I got some parchment paper. I use this for crafting. I also use it for baking. And then this is one of the best deals. I got some Reynolds Wrap. The foil sheets. I love, 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 love those things. And then I got... One of these bowls here that snap closed. Um, I'm weeding through all my bowls and stuff. A lot of stuff I use, you know, I just save containers and stuff. And But I'm trying to get some, you know, better containers because I've been doing meal prepping. And see, so they snap in place. It's really nice. So, And it's nice and sturdy. Now, the one thing Dollar Tree didn't have that I needed was paper towels. So, I end up just getting a, a thing of napkins because... They didn't have no paper towels. So now my physical therapist is trying to encourage me to walk more and stuff, but she definitely wants me to take my phone and stuff with me. So I got me one of these phone armbands, and I tried my phone in it so it makes sure it fits and everything. But this is really nice. The plastic's heavy duty. So I just picked that up from my phone. And then, you know, I'm always breaking my glasses and stuff, so I picked up a pair of readers. Aren't those cute? They're purple. And while I was in there, I also picked up a pair of sunglasses because, you know, you need to wear sunglasses even if it's not hot outside but sunny. So that's kind of all the boring stuff. Now, let me get to some other stuff in here. Okay. So I'm walking in the door, and you guys know the, and you've probably seen this, it's probably not new, but you know the, um, the little villages they've been having and stuff. Well, they got some new pieces, and you know, I set mine across my bar at Christmas time. I decorate like that, and so I decided I needed to add some new pieces to it. So, I just had to do this, y'all. I had to get the little red truck and the little camper. I just thought those are really cute. So, I got that to add to my collection. Then they have some new houses, and I don't know if this is all they have, but this is all my store had. So, they had this one right here. Which is really nice. I really like that. And they're, they've they gotten smart now. They just went ahead and peeled, peeled the little label on here. And tell you to put like a tea light in there. But a battery operated tea light. And then they have a new style of church. Pick that one up. And then they have an antique store. I thought this was the cutest thing ever. Look at the little things on the top of it. It's so cute. So I got those three. So that's really all I found. And they had trees and stuff like that. But I think I have enough of those. So in the uh, stationery and, and that kind of stuff, I picked up my R2 rollers. I love these pens. I use them all the time. Uh, matter of fact, you know, I have one here on my table somewhere. But anyway... Yeah, right here. I use these pens. I love writing with them. So, I got one of those. Then I picked up one of these 2021 desk calendars. as the hard binding on here. I saw something. Um, I honestly don't remember if I saw it on YouTube or Pinterest. But they take these calendars and convert them into like a desk calendar. So, I wanted to give that a try. And then I found this cute little notebook. 
and I think it has stickers with it too. Look at this. It says shoot for the stars. As a matter of fact, let me put my glasses on so I can see. I'm going to take it out of the package because I wanted to see what this was. Uh, it is stickers. This might be a calendar. I don't know. But I thought it was just a notebook. I thought. Okay, so it comes with a pair of a little page of stickers. And here is the little book. So shoot for the stars. And it is. It's just a little notebook. But y'all, right beside it was these pens. Look at this. Isn't that a cute little set? I thought this would make a great little stuffing for a basket or something that I'm doing, you know, for for my um, older kids and stuff. So I just thought that was so cute. Like my little 10-year-old would enjoy this. And um, so I thought that was really cute. So I picked that up. Then um, by the door, you know they have yarn all the time, but I have never seen this in there, ever. Um, I love to, uh, you know, Miss Lori Seabrook, hi bestie, taught me how to crochet. And I love crocheting like um, little bath scrubbies, kitchen scrubbies, um, washcloths and things like that. Well, I found cotton yarn in the Dollar Tree. I have never seen cotton in there before. And <clears throat> I don't know, let's see. This has it's premier just cotton and this color is called pansy and it is 104 yards. It's a medium weight. It's 85% cotton and 15% polyester. So I picked up a couple of these. Now this is something they had tons of and I may have to see if I can get some more. And this is just purple. And it's the same thing, 104 yards. I just thought these would make cute little um, dishcloths or my little scrubbies or something like that. So I picked those up. Now, um, also by the kitchen stuff close to the front, I picked up these cookie cutters. And the reason I picked up these cookie cutters is really because I wanted the round one. Because, and the little gingerbread one. Because I want to make some Christmas ornaments. This year, I'm going back to a traditional, I'm not doing a nautical thing Christmas. I'm doing an old-fashioned Christmas. Um, because, you know, I found all my Christmas ornaments and stuff when I was growing up. And, um, you know, things that my mom made and stuff. So, I thought I would do that this year. And she loved Christmas and she loved decorating. And I really want to do that. So, I found some air-dry clay in the Dollar Tree. And it's really soft. I feel it like it's really soft. But I want to try this out to make some ornaments. I don't know what color it is. <coughs> I don't know if it's that orangey color. I'm hoping it's not, but it might be. But I think it can be um, uh, painted. Um... So it says, you know, add water to soften or join pieces. Um, store unused clay in airtight container. Do not store clay once water has been added. Keep finished product away from open flame. Do not put in the oven, microwave, or kiln. And this product, is, it contains wheat, whatever that is. It's not food. <laughs> I guess they had to put all that stuff on there these days. So anyway, I picked this up and I'm going to give it a try. They have plenty of that too, so I may get back and get another one if I like it. I also picked up some oil pastels. Now, I have pastels. I have um, some soft pastels, uh, but they're not oil. And I picked these up, and they just, they have um, basically the primary colors. They have white, yellow, orange, red, pink, burnt sienna, blue, light gray, dark green, light green, brown, and black. And I picked these up to maybe do some resist coloring with or um, use some resist using um, paint and then um, these just just to fiddle around with it. So this might be an art journal project. I'm not going to do it on anything um, that I haven't, you know. Whoops, and then I just dump them out of the package. I've never used the oil pastels before. I've used my chalk pastels. But not these. 
So I thought I would give them a try. For a dollar, it couldn't hurt, right? So they, we are starting to carry more Crafter Square stuff in there. I did see more knitting needles and things like that in there, but I'm not going to pick those up from the Dollar Tree. Um, then I picked up some Magical Adhesive Dots. And um, so these are just like the regular little dots, like glue dots. And I picked those up, and there's 72 of them. And then I've been needing this, and I picked up some um, paper, uh, some pop dot, they call it pop dot tape, but it's foam tape. And it looks like it has three styles. Now, I'll tell you, when I picked this up at first, I thought it was um, double-sided tape. I didn't think it, I didn't realize it was foam, but that's okay. But it comes in about a quarter of an inch, a half an inch, and maybe three quarters of an inch. Comes in three different sizes. So I did pick that up. And then the last things I picked up, you know, those impulse buys before the checkout thing. They had these on here. They're little stickers. They're foil and they're for planners and stuff. But this is really cute because I'm working on a travel journal, you know. So I picked this one up right here. So sorry for the glare because it is foil. And I just thought that was really cute. And then I picked these up here. They're more linen, they're more nautical and stuff, so I picked those up. So that is my little Dollar Tree haul. Like I said, it wasn't much, um, but really, um, my store didn't have a whole lot. Like I said, I didn't go through all the fall, Halloween, and Christmas stuff because I was kind of being rushed. And, you know, when somebody does you a favor and takes you to the store, because they were taking me to the grocery store too, um, you know, you don't want to take advantage of that. So, I uh, had to rush through. But, on the note of transportation, I have all my car parts ordered. Yay! And, um, they're coming in this week. Yay! And hopefully next week, uh, when my friend gets back in town, um, he'll fix my car. Yay! <laughs> so, I'll have some transportation again. All right, guys, thank you for joining me. Let me know what you think about the haul. And I will see you all again soon. Bye.